With the sad news of Queen Elizabeth II's passing, who was Britain's iconic queen and longest reigning monarch, many people are naturally beginning to question what comes next for the monarchy. With the Queen's eldest son and heir, the former Prince Charles becoming king, the line of succession has officially shifted. Not to mention, everyone's place is vulnerable to change every time a new royal is born. While it's widely known that Charles' son Prince William has now been bumped up to first in line to the throne, there are plenty of royal relatives whose positions are not very well known. And let's take a look at the top 10 British royals that are now in line for the throne. Number 10, Sienna Elizabeth. Princess Beatrice's daughter formally secured her spot in the line of succession when she was born on September 18th to Queen Elizabeth's granddaughter and Eduardo Mappelimozzi. Baby Sienna was also added to the royal family's official website, which acknowledges that she is in 10th place to the throne. Although the royal family stylized Sienna's name without a royal title, her father, Eduardo, descends from Italian aristocracy, which means that Princess Beatrice became an Italian contessa and noblewoman after their wedding in July of 2020. But Princess Beatrice and Eduardo did not announce their daughter's name to be Sienna Elizabeth until October 1st, with a sweet photo of the baby's footprints. While it's obvious that the baby girl's middle name is a sweet tribute to Beatrice's grandmother, Queen Elizabeth, the first name Sienna was not really an expected choice, but is nevertheless a beautiful one. Her birth means Princess Eugenie and all the other royals behind her are now bumped down a notch in the royal pecking order. The website took nearly five weeks to make the update after Sienna's birth, but the delay is a fairly typical one considering that it took nearly seven weeks to add Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's daughter Lilibet to the list after her birth in June. Loving this video so far? Please hit that like button, it would really help us out. Number 9, Princess Beatrice. Now ninth in line for the throne, Princess Beatrice is the first daughter of Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Sarah Ferguson. And Duchess of York, and she is a sister to Princess Eugenie. In 2020, Beatrice married property developer Eduardo Mappoli Mozzi, and together they had a daughter, Sienna Elizabeth. Beatrice is stepmom to Christopher Wolfe, who was Mozzi's son from a previous relationship. Interestingly enough, she is now the third female in line for the throne, behind Princess Charlotte and Meghan and Harry's daughter, Lilibet. Princess Beatrice has tried to maintain a lower profile than her sister, Princess Eugenie, but that has recently changed when she married multi millionaire property tycoon Eduardo in a secret ceremony. But she also had a small role in Martin Scorsese's 2009 film The Young Victoria, and ironically, she played one of the Queen's ladies in waiting. Beatrice is also very vocal and open about discussing her dyslexia, and shows a lot of support to charities involved with it, which many people find quite inspiring, including Tina Turner, who praised the princess for helping her come to terms with her own dyslexia. So she's done a whole lot of good when it comes to reducing the stigma associated with learning difficulties. Number 8, Prince Andrew. The 62-year-old Duke of York is the third child of the Queen and is now eighth in line to the throne. He is the younger brother of King Charles III and Anne the Princess Royal. He is divorced from Sarah, Duchess of York, with whom he has two daughters, Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie. But the royal family has tried to distance themselves from the disgraced prince, given the disturbing allegations against him. Since his fall from grace over his friendship with deceased financier and convicted Jeffrey Epstein and his out of court settlement in a civil case brought against him, Andrew has disappeared from public life. The settlement came a month after it was announced that Prince Andrew's military titles and royal patronages would be returned to the Queen, and he would have to stop using the title His Royal Highness in an official capacity. But with Queen Elizabeth's recent passing, Andrew decided to join his siblings in greeting the public at Balmoral Castle. He will also be present alongside the rest of his family during the lead up to and including including her state funeral. But despite this, the public mood still seems to be set against Andrew, and he will likely not be able to return to public life as a royal for quite some time. Number 7, Miss Lilibet. She is the second child of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the younger sister to the couple's first child, Archie, and the 11th great-grandchild of Queen Elizabeth. Lilibet's first name plays tribute to Queen Elizabeth's childhood nickname, and her middle name, Diana, is a reminder of Prince Harry's late mother, Princess Diana. Meghan and Harry recently celebrated their daughter's first birthday by inviting close friends and family to gather for a casual, intimate backyard picnic at their Frogmore Cottage home. And yes, just like her brother, her hair is very bright red, which she inherited from her dad. Although little Lilibet is now seventh in line to the throne, she still does not carry a royal title and is only referred to as Miss. Whether or not this has anything to do with the fact that her parents stepped away from royal duties and moved to the US is something that remains to 
be seen. But it's likely that with Charles as king, she will be given her title of princess in the weeks to come. Number 6. Master Archie Baby Archie is not such a baby anymore, in fact the cutest royal is already 3 years old. Not only did he manage to steal hearts all over the world with his first appearance, but Harry and Meghan's son has also already made royal history. Even though he technically doesn't have a royal title, he's still managed to shake up the royal family in a huge way. His full name is Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor. Aside from being the name of one of the most famous comic book characters, Archie means very bold and truly brave. And Harrison literally means son of Harry. Meanwhile, Mountbatten Windsor is the royal family's official last name. But his birth actually made history as the first British American baby to be born into the royal family. As it currently stands, he is in sixth place in the line of succession to the British throne. As Prince Harry is the second and youngest son of Charles, Archie is not considered to be a British prince. He doesn't have a royal title at least for now and is simply known as Master Archie, but he might get one eventually. Number 5. Prince Harry The Duke of Sussex is now fifth in line for the British throne. He's the second son of King Charles III and the late Diana, Princess of Wales. In 2018, Prince Harry married Meghan Markle. Throughout their lives, the younger generation of the royal family has tried to find a balance between the fast changing society that they have now and the rigid institution that is the monarchy. This tension can really be seen when you look at the differences in the lives of Prince William and Prince Harry. While William leads a life of traditional duty, charity work and military pageantry, Harry resides outside LA with his American wife Meghan, who is an ex-actress and currently seems to be more interested in Hollywood than Buckingham Palace. The brothers, who were once very close, are now barely on speaking terms. The world was shocked in 2020 when Meghan and Harry announced that they were permanently stepping down as working royals, as they made it clear that they did not want the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. It was certainly a loss for the royal family, but they seem to be happy with the decision and now lead a much more laid back family life, residing just outside of LA. Number 4. Prince Louis Prince Louis is the youngest child of William and Kate and has already captured the hearts of royal fans and the world with his adorable smile. He's only four years old and he's fourth in line for the throne. Due to his young age, Prince Louis's parents have kept him out of the limelight as much as possible. In fact, aside from spotting his adorable face in a couple of select royal family portraits, we haven't seen or heard much about little Louis. But we do know that his name has a lot of meaning behind it. Louis's full name is Prince Louis Arthur Charles. His middle name of Charles and Arthur also holds special meaning. Charles, of course, is in honor of King Charles and the name Arthur is a family tradition. He also broke a royal record when he was born. His birth weight made him the heaviest Cambridge baby and heir to the throne in at least 100 years, weighing in at 3.8 kilograms. Kate doesn't often chat about Louis's personality, but she did reveal that he has a real love of nature and constantly stops to smell any flowers that he lays his eyes on. So clearly he's growing to love the great outdoors. Number 3. Princess Charlotte The second child of Prince William and Kate Middleton, Princess Charlotte is also the sister of Prince George and Prince Louis. She's seven and she's third in line for the throne. Interestingly enough, the original law surrounding succession stated that the younger male heirs would be considered for the throne before their older female siblings. However, in 2013, this changed and now any older female sibling born after the 28th of October in 2011 can be considered first for the throne. So because Princess Charlotte was born in 2015, she gets to keep her place in line. The princess is reportedly very girly and has a passion for horses, just like her late great grandmother Queen Elizabeth. Her name has a lot of meaning behind it as Charlotte serves as a female version of Charles, which is in honour of her grandfather. It is also the middle name of Kate's little sister Pippa Middleton. The royal middle name is a tribute to her great grandmother Queen Elizabeth II, while Diana is in loving memory of her late grandmother Princess Diana. William and Kate's children were all previously known as George Cambridge, Charlotte Cambridge and Louis Cambridge at school, but now they will be known to their friends and teachers as George Wales, Charlotte Wales and Louis. Wales. The change comes as all three siblings started their new school, Lambrook, following their family move out of London over the summer. The family of five now live in Adelaide Cottage in Windsor. 
Number two, Prince George. He is the eldest son of Prince William and Kate Middleton and is now second in line to the British throne behind only his father. Prince George is the older brother of Princess Charlotte of Cambridge and Prince Louis of Cambridge. His parents keep the life of the future heir to the British throne very private, but we do know some things about his personality. He attends school just like any other child and his parents do want him to be raised with a sense of normalcy. In fact, they haven't even told George yet that he'll be king one day. As a toddler, the prince was something of a handful, so much so that his parents decided to leave him at home when they went on a 2016 trip to India. When asked why the young prince was not with them, Kate said, because George is too naughty. He would be running all over the place. But maybe now that he's older, nine years old to be exact, he can accompany them on their next trip. Prince George also has a deep love of dance, just like his grandmother, the late Princess Diana, who was known for her dancing. So the grandson she never got to meet has apparently inherited a lot of her skills. And coming in at number one, Prince William. First in line for the throne is Prince William, who is now known as the Prince of Wales and formerly the Duke of Cambridge. He is the eldest son of King Charles III and the late Princess Diana. William is married to Kate Middleton, now called the Princess of Wales and formerly the Duchess of Cambridge. William ranks among the most popular figures in the royal family. He was admired for his public poise and grace following his mother's tragic death in a car crash in 1997. Ten years later, William and Harry organized a London memorial service to mark the anniversary of her death. Much like his father, William is also an avid sportsman and active in environmental issues. In fact, a survey by BGM Research reveals that nearly half of the British public wants Charles to step aside and give the throne to his oldest son. William and Kate have now been married for nearly a decade, and The Atlantic went as far as calling their relationship a fairy tale, with their picture perfect family and their distinct lack of scandals. Many Brits believe that when the time comes, William will make an excellent king. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.